I've just now moved the horses. You can see they're grazing a new patch of grass all the way over there next to the lime tree. So this is a walnut tree and when you come over here they grazed this area a number of weeks ago and a wonderful way to see how healthy uh, the biodiversity is and the soil is, besides saying hello everybody with the sun at my back, is the mushrooms. And every year I've been doing this, the mushrooms are becoming more and more populous. You can see there's mushrooms. These are all mushrooms coming up out of the old horse manure. So, but there's, this one's not coming up out of horse manure. And work our way up here and there's more mushrooms. These are two different varieties right here. This one, a very beautiful kind of silvery gray. And then this very kind of mushroomy color. So, and keep walking up here and there's more mushrooms. You see, there's more mushrooms here and here and here. So the varieties of mushrooms Every year I've been doing this, the varieties of mushrooms have become more and more prolific. So you can see there's another mushroom here. That's a small, a large version of another one. There's mushroom, there's mushrooms. It is that time of year. You can see also the biodiversity here. This is one type of dandelion here. Then here's another type of dandelion. You can see the difference in the leaf structure. So there's at least two different kinds of dandelions and here's another version, another type of dandelion here. So this is the biodiversity of where the horses have grazed. Here you can see there's clover coming up again. So the biodiversity of the flora is fantastic. That's a different clover because you see this clover has the white in it. And then the previous clover I was showing you doesn't have white in it. Here's another clover. See, that's a different clover. You can see here, if I pick that clover, whoops. What happened to it? Pick that clover. You can see there's that kind of white on it. And here you can see they've got different qualities of white. This is a thinner one. This is a thicker white. Also the leaves are different in their, um, the edges of their leaves are different. And the shape of them, one is more rounded than the other. This one has a bit of a sort of peak on it, the point on the leaf. This one has got a very oval shape. So that's different kinds of um, clovers, dandelions, grasses, and different herbs, and lots of different mushrooms. And that's the microbial life in the soil is thriving here. So it's everywhere you walk. It's that time of year when mushrooms are everywhere. So it's kind of exciting to see it. If I walk down this field, there's more and more mushrooms. You can see there's this kind of dainty one and then this one. So that's biodiversity for you. And this is loads of comeback growth from when the horses mob grazed it. And you can hardly see any manure on here because either the dung beetles have taken it down or it's been rotted down. There's a few areas where it's still there, but most of it is gone. There you go, a little bit about biodiversity and each year how it increases as I mob graze. There's the oak tree we planted with my family. And there's mustard. Hey, mustard kitty.
This is temporary fencing to keep anything from grazing this oak tree out. I'll be putting um, fleeces around it. Oh yes, and leaning on the fence, I'll turn this around. And I don't know if you can see, <laughs> there's kitty. Hey kitty. <laughs> there's a kitty on my shoulder. Kitty kitty. Oh, you're gonna jump down. He jumped up on my shoulder. There we go. How's the kitty? How's the kitty? How's the kitty? How's the kitty? <laughs> and Brindle wants attention. Yeah. You just, it's not fair that the cat gets all the attention, huh? No, you need some of it too. Yeah, good girl. Well, there we go. Talking mushrooms, regenerative farming, microbial life, soil, regenerating soil, flora, biodiversity, mob grazing. Hey, it's all the good stuff in life.